Stevenson Field, Prime Minister Louis Saint Laurent arrives to inspect the flood damage. He is greeted by Premier Douglas L. Campbell and Brigadier Morton. The Prime Minister makes a thorough survey of the entire area and later, at a press conference, says that the Dominion's aid will go to the province of Manitoba to be allocated. Throughout flooded Manitoba, livestock still stranded on rampaging Red River made islands are fed from the air as the Winnipeg flood area begins the long task of rehabilitation. Reinforced dikes which have held after weeks of battle are guarded day and night against dangerous seepage. Near Winnipeg, a home jammed against a bridge is prepared for dynamiting by army engineers. In the city, flooded cellars are pumped out as business begins to think about the future. In town, things begin to get better. Stores and movies are reopened, and newspapers print the first good news in many a day. Winnipeg haven't lost their sense of humor. Here is an improv tired from days of fighting the onrushing waters. The people of is the winner. Her prize? A sandbag new beauty contest to choose Miss Seepage of 1950. Annie. At City Hall, the spirit of the Winnipeggers finds expression in a huge sign which speaks for itself. Viscount Alexander, Governor General of Canada, confers with flood control officers and makes a tour of the stricken area. 